being in awareness ensures only necessary things will happen does awareness ensure protection from bad intentions from others very interesting question you see awareness only informs it only tells what is going on the awareness does not interfere in the activity it is an activity in itself and the intellect captures the activities that are going on in the light of awareness when there is no light it cannot capture what is going on so almost asleep the intellect is asleep so when there is an attack from outside bad intentions or whatever if there is awareness it can be caught that i was in a good mood suddenly i am feeling very bad suddenly there is anger in me suddenly there is hate in me or i am afraid of something which i don't know of what it is so this is a result of bad intention probably that was picked up now the awareness will tell you that look what is there so now you need to do your own protection awareness is not like a shield awareness is like like a informer now you need to raise your shield how will you do that that is totally different topic no from the occult field now that is this is totally like non physical phenomena but uh, some people they express their bad intention and if you are not aware you will not react properly there you will attack back or you will insult back or you will be running you will run away you will be afraid of that when the bad intention is expressed physically voice or by any action so there also the awareness is useful when you are aware just like you said only necessary happens okay there is bad intention now i have no business here this is necessary isn't it there is no need to engage with bad intentions because that means you are accepting it we do get bad intentions sometimes and uh, the proper action is to protect to shield ourselves and then there is no need to attack the attack only causes the bad intentions to become worse look he is exactly like that which i thought this will be the reaction from the other side it only confirms their notions that the other person deserves bad treatment so your only option is i mean it can vary from people to people but i've seen my only option that remains is to avoid is to go away there is no other solution now you will say how from how many people should i run away yeah <laughs> are you surrounded by only these people who have bad intentions for you too bad graham has a screenshot i see schedule for awareness practice in the videos on awareness experiments measuring the amount of time in awareness doesn't fit with my understanding of the awareness practice how you have discussed in such thing can you clarify yes you see i have said this in the video if i remember that this is only indicative which means it is giving you a very rough idea of what to do in your day like i said you need to be aware for 4 hours for next 12 months are you going to just calculate these things somehow are you going to put a stop watch there whether 12 4 hours are over or not are you going to mark in the calendar no i said this in the video i think that this is how it should look like roughly this looks like prog- progress to me that first 3 months you are trying somehow so one hour good enough next 6 months two hours is good enough but you are not going to measure exactly like you said measuring the amount doesn't fit nobody can measure it what is what is this uh, doing is giving the intellect a goal that is what it likes isn't it whether i am progressing or not so how to measure the progress how much awareness is there we are not even trying to measure the intensity of the awareness how will you measure it but there are some indications yes but uh, we can measure the duration how many times i lost it so on so indicative only you need to fill up the details there nobody can do this even i have i have not done <laughs> i have not followed any kind of schedule because the awareness refuses to follow the schedule it does its, its own dance 
सो वट डज दिस शेड्यूल डू इट विल गिव यू अ गोल टू अचीव येस येस इट शुड नॉट बी टेकन टू लिटरली आई थिंक आई क्लियर डिड इन द वीडियो दैट यू नीड टू मेक योर ओन शेड्यूल आई सेट दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल शेड्यूल वट इट इज शोइंग इज इट इट इज ग्रोइंग दैट्स ऑल मेक अ शेड्यूल सो दैट यू आर मोटिवेटेड टू ग्रो इट इंक्रीज द ड्यूरेशन इंक्रीज द इंटेंसिटी Now some people will be asking, you know, what is intensity of awareness? Remember that there can be few kinds of awarenesses: the awareness of your surroundings, environment, awareness of the people, very important, awareness of your body, then awareness of your mind, the feelings, emotions, thoughts, and desires. If you can achieve all of this, we say this. intense awareness is it possible it is possible it, it is going to take time isn't it you need to be like very very dedicated to reach this thing what i follow is become aware of that which you need to be, be aware if you are driving very fast uh, you need to be aware of the environment then you don't worry about uh, anything else there, there are only milliseconds for you to react properly on the uh, at that speed 90 100 kilometers per hour how much time you have to react milliseconds especially in india <laughs> today only i was driving at almost 100 kilometers per hour and i saw that there was nothing there total silence just the road and me that's all when the attention is needed on the road you need to be aware of that only you need to be aware of the board if you can be aware of all things simultaneously whole of your experience simultaneously it will be called intense awareness but there is usually fractional awareness that is because we are not we have we are were not taught to practice the inclusive attention hardly anybody learns the inclusive attention they learn the exclusive attention which is very useful in daily life just like i said the awareness follows the attention so this is the intensity part of that tension and we have not focused at all on the intensity part you know i i don't think i mentioned it anywhere in the course in the program and duration part we have put more stress on it because i know that intensity thing is cannot be trained like this yes maruti at 100 km per hour everything will shake your feet will start shaking <laughs> and nobody should do it lela is asking why isn't the maya designed in such a way that the experiencer gets pleasure and liberation at the same time he never experience down effects of maya and the experiencer is always in bliss whatever you call pleasure is called bliss whatever you call liberation is called freedom yes it's totally free and totally bliss and it is totally beyond maya experiencer is beyond maya now it is your job to know what is this experiencer try to find out the experiencer never uh, is touched by the down effects or the up effects completely free completely untouched like the screen is not touched by whatever pictures are displayed on the screen there can be explosions there can be floods and there can be you know fire and whatever but the screen comes out to be pure all the time when the movie ends the screen has no scratch on it the experiencer is the screen try to know your true nature then you will understand get rid of your ignorance first varun is saying being the experiencer is easy, easy and abiding is hard i don't understand you know because abiding is being the experiencer isn't it abiding means what you be the experiencer don't be any experience can you tell me the difference between these two things being the experiencer and abiding probably there is some fault in your understanding that is why you think it is hard what do you mean by being the experiencer and what do you mean by abiding rajit is saying i get a feeling that after 10 years we'll have gurus invading metaverse it has already happened i think very few people know this that my first satsang was conducted in second life when you guys you children have not even heard of <laughs> what is second life okay sweety is saying isn't gathering these knowledge like trying to chew that 
which has already been chewing. Yes, once you know the basic, the fundamental knowledge, you know, we say, which is given by the in the path of knowledge, then everything else is simply a repeat. It is going to repeat. Yeah, you are right. Even, you know, there are some students of mine, they say, now the Bible is crystal clear after I heard you. I said, why not repeat? <laughs> it's the repeat. It's not a simple thing to read that Bible. You see, it's a huge book and they go through it like a child's play. Oh, I know what he's saying here. I know what he's saying there. Path of knowledge students, they are going to um, put these all these priests and all out of their job. An average person in our program knows much more, you know, probably 50 times more than the priest speaking in the church. They can explain the Bible most beautifully. So yes, repeat, repeat, repeat. Once you get the basic knowledge. Now I don't read any book, you see. My house is bookless. Varun is saying, I mean the experiencer is always there, abiding his heart. Okay, tell me what are you doing? You must be doing something. That's why it is hard. Can you tell me what are you doing? I forget to remember. When you remember, what do you do to remember? Can you tell me? Forgetting is easy, I know. It happens automatically. How do you remember it? Varun is saying, I remind myself that I am the experiencer. Who is this I? If you are the experiencer, can you remind yourself? Does the experiencer remind itself? I am the experiencer. <laughs> what? How do you remind yourself? I is a mental activity. Yeah. So who does it? You are the experiencer. You don't do anything. And the I is a mental activity. Who Who is doing it then? Who is bringing on the awareness? Can you tell me? Point to that thing. Show me. Don't use the word I in this. You are on the path of knowledge now. Yeah, the mind. We say that it is happening. There is no you. Who is doing the hard work? That is also an illusion that it is hard. There is nobody doing any work there. Experiencer is experiencer like you said. It does nothing to remind anything. And the mind does it automatically. Where is the effort? Who is doing the effort? Which effort? Just before you are aware, what effort do you find? Think about it. Why do we say that awareness is effortless? Why do we say effortless effort? Did you understand what is awareness? See, it is only thought that says it is hard. Can the thought bring on the awareness? It can never bring on the awareness. It comes on its own. And in frustration, this ego, this person says, I ah, is very hard. It never comes when I want it. That is garbage. These words are not true. It comes automatically. It comes effortlessly. It goes effortlessly. <laughs> Nobody's in charge of it. So what is the point of saying be, be in awareness like he told me that look there is a schedule you told me. What is the point of that? You see that is the seeding the mind. The seeding the memory with this intention. Like somebody said no Karish said intention. <laughs> intention brings it on. How much, how much time and how much effort does it take to for the intention to manifest? Nothing. See things are happening effortlessly already in nature. There is an afterthought that oh, it is not there and I am helpless to do anything about it. So it is hard. Yeah, obviously there is nobody there to bring it on. So yes, it is hard then. It is impossible to bring the awareness. Impossible. What are you trying to do? Stop doing. Hold the intention. Let the seed do the thing. Let the seed do the work. Do you get my point? Let it happen. <laughs> Let go. So... People say how to become aware in the dream. I said you cannot. Impossible. While in waking state you make an intention. The mind does it. There are processes in the mind. They will like an alarm. They will ring it. Totally. Nobody is there. Nobody is doing anything here. The Guru puts the seed. That's all he is doing you see. And the seed does the rest of the job. It grows. If you want to do something, because you know, you are probably restless there, you know, what can I do about awareness? So what, what do I suggest? You, you drink the juice of it. You drink the nectar of awareness. It has to be sweet. If it is awareness, it will be sweet. Do you feel the sweetness of it? Can you taste the sweetness of it? Like it's poetic, but you know, we don't have any other word. 
it feels very nice when you're bright and clear sweet the fragrance of it hold on to this if you want to do something hold on to this as the mind gets the taste of it it will develop affinity for awareness so then th- th- that means you know there will be more occasions of awareness it will do that this is how it works you see we hijack this we hack into this kind of beautiful mechanism in the mind the more it likes it the more it does it this is what it is you see there is a reward in being in awareness that everybody must have noticed not a worldly reward but it is there utilize this thing if you want don't try to bring on the awareness when it is there the seed has worked you know the guru's intention is working here first initially you need that the guru will tell you all the time <laughs> be aware that puts a little bit of programming in there and this programming starts executing and now you know the software terms very easy to explain so you hold on to this thing drink the nectar of it and then the mind will get addicted to it and then it will like expand according to our schedule <laughs> you will think i'm progressing very nicely i'm doing something it is happening on its own the program only builds an intention now graham must be you know getting it clearly the program is there only to plant a seed i mean not the program the schedule of 12 months and all just to plant the seed put the intention recently ashwin produced the video based on our satsang that day, which happened it is in hindi actually those who can understand hindi should go and watch that video and all your doubts will be cleared probably varun understands hindi a little bit you can watch it ashwin's video on sakshi bhav so this is called cultivation for some reason because you see you can you cannot put the seed and cannot pull the seed into a plant then you cannot cannot go to the field and pull the plant and make an effort to turn into a tree no <laughs> there is nothing like this possible 